what, what what's your gut and and uh, what do you know of Lou that maybe somebody here in Toronto who has wondered, well, it's Lou, he's a secret. What, well, what would they what would they need to know? First time I ever met Lou Lamarillas when I went to Buffalo and he was running the Providence uh, uh you know, university team, and uh, we drafted a kid from there. And you know what he did? Every time that he had a player on his team uh, and he was coaching, he ran the whole thing, uh, he always represented that player uh, in his first contract. Uh, and there was one player named Gates Orlando who was a really good college player. I wish he could have been a better NHL player, and we probably didn't give him the right chance. But Lou, Lou represented these players all the time. He cared about the player. Uh, he was he was very fair to deal with. He wasn't a he wasn't a Scrooge or anything like that. He wanted the guy to be placed in the right place. So that's like 1980. So we're talking 37 years ago. But I've always had a good relationship with Lou. When I was in Detroit, um, we needed a defenseman. I called him and said, Lou, you got a guy sitting in the stands. Is, is he going to play any more for you? It was Slava Fatisov. He said, Scotty. He's one of the greatest players that ever played in the, in, the, in the Russian system. We can't really use him here now. He's getting on. He's, got, he's getting long in the tooth. But maybe if, he, if you get him in the right, the right place at the right time, and, we, and he didn't, I mean, he, I think we gave a third or fourth round pick. But he said, I'd like to give him an opportunity to play. And so that's what he does. Like, you know, I, I think his, his image to a lot of people is not what he is. Right. Uh, and, and that's kind of my point. I, I, I have a great personal relationship with Lou Lamorello. I, 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 he's great to sit with and talk to and go and have a glass yeah. of wine with or have dinner with. But man, oh man, if you, you want to send him an email or a text about his hockey team, or it is, you'll get crickets. I mean, he is so secretive still in so many ways. And he plays by rules. Everything's by rules. And that's the way his teams seem to operate as well. I like a lot of his rules. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, I, we can't talk as much about them. But I think, no, uh, they, they they got the right crew now. And uh, they they have to be patient again. Uh, like you said before, they're second-year guys. Uh, you get off to a lot of success. But I, I, I'm i sure you can, you know, can look at other people. I mean, uh, Mike Babcock and... Lou Lamorello, Brendan Shanahan, you, you got a lot of hockey savvy there, you know, a lot of hockey wisers. So I think it's going to be interesting to look at this team and see how far they can really go again this year.